Welcome back to the channel, um, back in Bee Craigs again, and it's only been a couple of days, three days, something like that, since I was here last, since I shot last week's vlog, and uh, as you can see, we've had a wee touch of snow in the meantime. So what I'm going to do this week, I'm just going to pick up pretty much exactly where I left off the other day. Uh, only difference is that we have got, as I say, a lot of snow. So the first shot of the day is uh, this one here, of this, uh, this tree here, we're kind of picking up just where we left off the other day there. Um, the two trees that I caught at the end of the last video are just in behind me here and I might try and get another shot of them because I feel I've got a bit of unfinished business with those trees. Um, but in the meantime, uh, I've walked around this way and uh, I want to get a shot of, of this one here. Um, now when I came down, I think I mentioned in the other video uh, that I took some shots on the phone, test shots, last week in black and white, so I'll show you this one. We're going to replicate that one except in colour. Now if you recall from that black and white shot, um, the whole tree was kind of in shadow with all the trees in behind were quite brightly lit. Uh, obviously we're not getting that this morning. Too much snow, it's way too bright for that, so. Uh, but we'll try and get the, get the tree just on its own. Now what I'm doing, if I switch the, switch the movie on, just give me a second, there we go. Right. So now you can see what I'm looking at and what I'm talking about. Uh, if I switch that, that movie on, we've got a tree over here sitting down here on the bottom thirds and it's just kind of stretching up and over the top. It's not even framing anything, it's just a picture of a tree uh, in the snow, which, as I say, I quite like. Now, um, what I've done, I've taken it right down to the lowest um, aperture that this lens will go to, which is f4. Um, and I'm in aperture priority, so that's giving me a time of 1 25th of a second. Okay, so if I switch that off, reason I'm using that big aperture is basically I want to get the tree in focus and the trees in behind, all these ones back here, here, um, I want them in kind of blurred out of focus. So we just got the tree and pretty much nothing else. So not getting it as far out of focus as I would like because as I say F4, this may be a smidgen to too big perhaps, or too small I should say, um, but you know, you've got to get what you've got. So what I'll do, I'll just grab that picture, I'll switch the movie off first. Alright. And let's double check that it's in focus. Oops, try again. There we are. Take the shot. Click. So as you can see, I brought the, the, the camera around into landscape format. And it's given me, it's around about 24 mil. I'm wondering really, if I take about 16, it's just a bit much. I do own a 30 mil prime, but I don't have it with me. Which might be ideal for this shot, but... Again, you work with what you've got. So once again, I'll just grab the shot in a landscape format. Focus on the tree, and off we go. Click.
So, here we are, we're back now um, where I took that final shot at, uh, in last week's video and uh, just looking up this path towards these two trees which, as you'll probably remember, overhang the path. Now, last week they were, they had a bit of sunlight on them. I'm a bit earlier in the day today. Um, on the plus side, that means there's fewer people around. The snow probably helps in that respect as well. But uh, on the minus side, where there was light on these trees before, I'm not getting that this time. So uh, we'll just take the trees as they are. Now what I'll do, if I just stick that movie on, uh, like that. There we go. Uh, you'll see that. So again, we've got the trees. I'm down at F4, which is the... Uh, the largest aperture I'm going to get here. Again, same reason I want the trees in the background to be uh, out of focus and I want to try and get the, the main tree that I'm focusing on nice and sharp. So there we go, we've got that now and as you can see, again, right over here, one's in the back. I wonder if I can just uh, up the aperture just a little bit. I'll bring that right up, slide it up to F22 and you can see all the the trees in the background here are all very sharp now um, and the tree kind of gets lost in amongst everything but if I bring it back right down again down to F4 oops I've switched on ISO hang on a second right try pressing the right buttons this time uh, yeah if I take it right down to F4 there we go as you can see the trees in the background are now uh, not so much in focus. Right, so let's just uh, switch the movie off. Having ruined all that. Uh, switch the movie off. And I shall grab the shot. Just like that. Click. So I've put the um, the macro lens on now, and uh, I want to try and get a shot of this holly here, um, just with a bit of snow on it and whatnot. You know, get quite close in, uh, home in on the leaves and what have you. So this is a, a 30 millimeter prime macro lens. This one. So I'll stick the movie on. Okay, there we go. Now what you have to remember here is that when this camera goes into a movie mode it shoots in 16 by 9 and the shot I'm going to take is in 2 by 3 so we are kind of <laughs> missing bits of the holly down at the edge here but that'll, that'll come in the final picture so what we're looking at obviously it's just the the back of the where am I? there back of the holly uh, out of focus and then as you get closer and closer and closer we're getting more and more in focus now I've got this leaf here where am I? There is the one I'm actually focusing on. Um, I wonder, I'm just going to up the... Up the aperture ever so slightly. Because what I want as well is this one at the very bottom. Oops, to focus. Like that. And that is probably a bit better, I think. Okay. So, uh, we'll take that one, switch the movie off. I'll just double check my focus there. Yeah, Get that final leaf up. And then there we are. And one, two, three, click.
Well, this is going to be a probably the second last shot of the day now because I'm fast running out of power uh, with it being as cold as it is. I mean, when I was when I drove up this morning, the car was saying minus 11. That's how cold it is. There hasn't been. I've seen one other person here since I arrived, uh, which is actually great when you're doing this kind of vlogging because you don't get people creeping up behind you. <laughs> which is always nice. Anyway, yes, um, one more picture I want to take, which is back up at the car park. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm down here uh, getting a shot of this snow-covered fence here. And uh, it's disappearing, obviously, down into the trees, down the distance. So, if I just stick on the, the movie again, so as you can see exactly what's going on. Uh, we've got the fence, as I say, just disappearing off like that. We've got this tiny wee branch thing. I don't know what it is, just a wee twig or something sticking out of the ground. Uh, you just uh, kind of filling up that negative space down the the bottom uh, right hand corner. So that's us. I just need to actually just level this up slightly. Just bear with me there. Right. So I've got the wee, um, the wee twig sitting on the bottom uh, bottom right hand of the rule of thirds. I've got the fence running through the, the top right hand one. Uh, I've got the, the camera way down low so the fence starts rather than coming out from the bottom where it would be if it was higher. The fence is starting right on the left hand edge just like that. So if I switch off the movie, okay. I should also say I've got exposure compensation up at plus two stops as well. Uh, again, because way down here everything was looking kind of blue. So that's that and I shall just grab the shot. Well, I've come down now to Beecraig's Loch, which is this here. Um, it's an old reservoir built World War I for uh, supplying Linlithgow with water, but it's not in use anymore, it's just a, a fishing loch now. Quite nice, very nice in the summer, obviously. Only today, it's um, frozen over, and as you can see, the snow is lying on the, the loch as well. So, I think I'm going to get attacked by a swan here. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see what happens. So, yes, I'm going to grab a picture. Um, I'm not going to walk on the ice because I really don't have a death wish. But uh, I'll grab a picture and uh, see, what we get, see what we get it before the swan walks in. There we go. Oh, no. Too late. So, yes, um, well you're coming too, are you? Okay, fine. Let's just wait for the swans to go past. Uh, in the meantime, I'll click the movie and show you what we're actually getting a picture of here, which is, as I say, the island on uh, Bree Creek's Loch. Sitting out there, it's, uh, it's all frozen over, there's snow, the ducks are, are walking on the ice, the swans are walking on the ice as well. Um, so I'm going to get a picture of that. It's lovely in the summer, I should say, but today all snowy. So I'm up at uh, F10. I've got the exposure compensation up at 1.3 stops, uh, which is giving us a, a 1 30th of a second exposure. Now, again, talking of the composition, uh, I've got the horizon just on the lower third here. Uh, island smack bang in the middle. Again, it's a dead simple picture. It's difficult, actually, to get the island anywhere else other than smart bang in the middle without getting any trees in the way. So, that's that. Let me just uh, switch the movie off. Let's do that again. Let me switch the movie off. 
I'm going to change these buttons as I've got a different movie button because that one's just very difficult to, to get to. Anyway, that's that. Yes, I'll focus up. Focusing on the island. F10, ISO 100. And off we go. Click. Well, that's it for now. I'm going to call it a day because once again, like I say, I'm running out of power. So that's it. I uh, hope you've enjoyed these. If you have enjoyed them, uh, just do the usual. Just lay a like, comment, subscribe, etc, etc, etc. Press the little bell icon, which, if I recall correctly, is now down that way. I got it wrong last time. It was down the corner there somewhere. So you press that little, uh, that little bell icon and uh, that'll tell you. Um, exactly when I'm posting these vlogs. So anyway, that's that for that. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.